In this video, we're going to talk about Linux gaming on VMware and Wine, specifically Steam Plays, because that came out earlier this week and everybody's really excited about it. So a fun piece of trivia about this video, I actually wanted this video to be like a gaming benchmark sort of between Steam Plays and VMware, but the funny thing about that is I don't have enough Windows games to do an actual benchmark. So instead, now that Steam Play is out, I want to talk about why you would use VMware instead of just using Steam Play because I feel like Steam Play is probably going to become the de facto way of playing Windows games on Linux because it is just so awesome. Now about two years ago I did a video called Linux Gaming Ubuntu vs Windows 10 on VMware Benchmarks and people really seem to like that video. I think it created a lot of excitement for people wanting to play Windows games on Linux. You could just get a VMware player and play your games in there. Problem with that is it's a bit more complicated than just firing up a VM, putting Windows on it, and playing games. I made some follow-up videos on how to tune your VM, but still, I think a lot of people think of Wine when they think of Linux gaming, and now that Steam plays out, most people are probably just going to do that, and that's awesome. So what exactly is Steam Play? Steam Play is not Wine, it's something called Proton, and Proton also isn't Wine. It is built on a whole bunch of technologies, including Wine. Valve has a GitHub repo with a whole bunch of submodules so you can see what Proton is composed of, but there's a whole bunch of really awesome stuff here, and it's pretty amazing that they've integrated it into Steam. Now at the time of this video, there's a relatively short list of games that are officially supported, but you can just enable Steam Plays for any Windows game in your catalog, and you can try and play them. So for example, let's give Skyrim a try. Since Skyrim is not officially supported, when you go to first launch it, it'll say, hey man, this game is not supported, you're on your own if you run into troubles, and that's okay. You can always reference WineHQ to get a general idea of how a game will run on your system, but WineHQ is full of really awful and bogus test results, so don't put too much stock in it. Skyrim is a game that's known to run pretty okay on Linux, and unsurprisingly, it runs fabulous with Steam Play. I captured this footage over the course of 10 to 15 minutes with my Uber character, and the frame rate was good, everything was good. It ran really, really well, though it did default to my gamepad, which is a little odd, but hey, it supports gamepad, so that's cool. However, just like Skyrim with Vanilla Wine, you can't exit the game. You have to open up a task manager and terminate the process. I have no idea why this bug still exists. It's been around forever and it's just really odd. So one thing about Skyrim on Linux that is not well supported or supported at all is mods. Now you can use mods from the Steam Workshop, but everybody that's serious about modding Skyrim and mods in general goes over to the Nexus mods and they get a mod loader. There's a whole bunch of mod loaders out there, but I don't think any of them work on Linux. And I, I know that you can probably jiggle the handle enough so that you can get them working, but then a lot of mods deal with the Skyrim script extender, which is also really dodgy on Linux. And then once you have that stack of duct tape, God only knows how often the game is going to crash. I mean, you're running it on Wine with some mods, with a script thing, it's just out of control. But you can bounce on over to VMware and your entire tower of duct tape works perfectly as perfect as tons and tons of mods on Skyrim works anyways. So this footage of Skyrim was captured on VMware and I have like 35 mods I think going on. I know that I have some conflicts so I turned some of them off and still it's not perfect. Like when I open the map, Sky UI complains about something I'm not even sure. But all of the mods work perfectly and the frame rate here on VMware is outstanding. Now keep in mind, I've done a lot of tuning to this VMware. You're not going to get this performance out of the box, but it is possible and in my opinion, I think it's a lot easier to tune and tweak VMware than it is Wine. So with Steam Play, you get games like Skyrim integrated into your Linux version of Steam, and it's all cohesive, part of your awesome game catalog, and everything is great. But on VMware, you have to have VMware running, you have to install Windows, which takes like a ton of space. You have to install Steam on Windows, on VMware, but what you gain from running your games on VMware is compatibility. Take something like Origin, for example, which works sometimes, but usually not. Obviously, Origin won't work with Steam Play, though I wouldn't be surprised in the future if somebody figured out how to do it. I haven't been able to get Origin to successfully work and allow me to play games like The Sims 4 on Linux in probably a year and a half, and it still doesn't work as of the time of this video, but on VMware, works perfectly fine. The Sims 4 also works perfectly fine. 
And also, compatibility for older games, like Freelancer here. Freelancer is a pretty darn old game, but it's kind of kept alive through mods and things. Freelancer uses an old deprecated feature of DirectX called Direct Play. And to the best of my knowledge, Direct Play has been deprecated from Wine? So if you wanted to play Freelancer on Linux through Wine, you would have to use an older version of Wine, which may not even work. I know that I've seen pictures of people getting it to work, but I can't imagine what the performance would be like. Again, here on VMware, it works perfectly fine because this is Windows. However, despite this being Windows, you're still constrained by the virtualized hardware and the VMware drivers. For example, the VMware graphics driver only supports DirectX 10 not DirectX 10.1, which means most games that require DirectX 10 won't work. Now the interesting thing about that is that the DirectX feature level appears to be an artificial restriction. While the VMware graphics driver only supports DirectX 10, I can run the UniEngine Valley benchmark on DirectX 11 and get pretty decent frame rates. So while this is an actual Windows 10 install, and the graphics driver is capable of DirectX 11 or whatever, a lot of games will check your graphics driver and say, oh, this isn't supported, or they'll check your DirectX version and say, oh, this isn't supported, and you can't actually do anything with it. Back over in Linux land, using Wine or Steam Play, you can actually play a lot of DirectX 12 games because of Vulkan. And in a lot of cases, newer games that use DirectX 12 actually run better on Linux with Vulkan than older games that use DirectX 9. So to kind of summarize this long-winded ramble type video, I think that Steam Play is a superior way of playing Windows games on Linux. There's only two real use cases where I think VMware has an advantage over Steam Play, and both of them deal with compatibility. The first one is obviously if it's a game or an application that isn't through Steam, like say Origin, then it's kind of hard to use Steam Play with it. But Origin itself doesn't work with Wine, so that's where you would use VMware. And the other one is for stuff like mods, or kind of advanced gaming, I guess, for lack of a better term. The vast majority of people don't do mods, but back years and years ago when I used to play Skyrim a lot, I used to play with lots of mods, and I'm still kind of into it. So if I'm going to play Skyrim, I've got to have a bunch of mods, and you can't really do that with Wine or Steam Play. So for that, I would say, yeah, VMware is the way to go. But in pretty much every other case, Steam Play and Wine is a better option. I think one of the biggest and most important advantage that Steam Play offers is that if you buy a Windows game or play a Windows game on Linux using Steam Play, it shows up to the developer and publisher as a Linux purchase. Now it goes without saying that's not the case on VMware because you're buying and playing it on Windows. It doesn't matter if it's virtualized, it's on Windows. Steam Play is not virtualized. Wine, and by extension Proton, is a compatibility layer between Windows and Linux. So that's going to wrap this video up. I hope that you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.